On the video at 11 of a close call in Safety Harbor, take a look at this damage after a massive oak tree came crashing down onto a woman's car. And now she's fighting for answers from the county, calling that dead tree a hazard. In a story you'll only see here on ABC Action News, reporter Ryan Smith found out that dead tree was scheduled to be removed. Here in Safety Harbor, just one look is all it takes to see that hundreds of trees provide a picturesque backdrop here in Philippe Park. But one recently became dangerous, leaving a panicked mother so thankful no one was hurt. A Friday afternoon at the park. It's, it's a beautiful place to take pictures. Turned into a close call for Michelle McMullen. With a wedding underway nearby, McMullen says this dead tree posed a serious hazard. Based on the aftermath, this could have been a deadly situation. A scary moment. The men from the wedding came charging out, thinking someone was in the car. McMullen says she's been back and forth with Pinellas County officials for two and a half weeks now. No apology. No one reached out. I've learned parks are inspected twice a year. According to county officials, the tree in question was scheduled for removal during the next maintenance cycle, which would give a chance for the woodpecker nest in the tree to complete. Dead trees, whether standing or fallen, provide habitat for birds, reptiles, mammals, and insects. I have no way to get to and from work. My son starts school next week. I'm just in a really bad position. Another fallen tree recently totaled two vehicles parked outside the kitchen in downtown Safety Harbor, just two miles from the park. I think that it was a wake-up call um, that th these trees need to be cared for a little bit more. Um, and the next week, we did see quite a few trees out here being trimmed. Pinellas County officials promise they are now working with McMullen's insurance company to figure out a possible payback for damages. In Safety Harbor, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.